Ooh wee, eh, buddy? It is a hot one. Hey, you're getting pretty warm there, eh? Sitting on the cool floor, hmm? All righty, it's kind of noisy. We have our as little relief as we can get here, but we got some. Uh, I got some half-inch square stock. I picked up a sheet of 20 gauge aluminum. Yeah, yeah, I think it's 20. Not too happy about that, but that's about all that's really affordable. So we're gonna rock with it. So with that said, we're gonna do some more. Um, I got to build some more structure in here. That's kind of the plan. Uh, just so, because it's gonna be a little more tinny. So I think that's where we're at. I'm gonna sheet metal the floor. I want that in a sheet metal. And then back here, the plan is gonna be to, um, well, I'm not sure, because I don't know how the um, my metal are gonna connect together. So I'll probably run another bar somewhere here. I wanna run the sheet this way, kind of do an angle. Boom, we'll kind of build one sheet. It'll go past this wall. We will sheet this with another one. Like it's all gonna be just some aluminum. So we can kind of like perimeter screw it on. Uh, I'll probably do a piece of half inch here or something just so we have a way to fasten. I guess I could fasten it straight down. Yeah, we'll go that way. We're gonna make stuff up as we go, that's for sure. But we're gonna sheet the top of here, down the sides. Uh, we'll do the doors. Uh, we'll see what we got left. I'm thinking I'm gonna sheet this part into here. There, make some door patterns. Possibly do the kick panels, I don't know yet. We'll save that for after. And then uh, we're gonna bead roll and sheet this thing up, so. So far, that is our plan. If that changes as we go, I don't know. I do have to still fully weld this. Everything in here has just been tack welded. Uh, this stuff's been a little bit better though.
while you're watching me cut up some templates, um, there's really nothing fancy to say here other than uh, I was just breaking this into manageable chunks. I could make this in one piece, tape this together, and try to form it, but that's really not what this car is about. So what we did is we cut this first piece. It's there, right? That's cool. We made a, a templated up a second piece here. So this one's just going to go in. Everything's going to end up on some kind of a frame structure that I'll be able to zap. So this one's the same as the other side. Easy. Then we started on the top piece. So this one, if you see, comes here. It'll go flat up to this piece. So that was good. There's a little bit of overlap on some pieces, but I don't mind that. So I'll be able to burn it down and then uh, when I put the second piece over, we'll have some overlap. And then the next one comes up, goes to the firewall, it's fine. Down here, it's pretty straightforward again. This one goes, there'll be a slight bend on the bottom, but we can do this multiple ways where I can, uh, I, I think and I'm just going to bead roll, or not bead roll, but I'm going to actually put it on the brake. And we'll have to stretch and shrink a little bit because we can tell there's a kink happening here. The reason why I'm keeping everything so tight is I just want lots of foot room and leg room in the car. I don't want like an old, like a huge tunnel and things. So somebody did comment about my cross member and I'm probably going to revisit that in case I ever have, like myself or somebody has to do the transmission, the, that'll come out without having to like lift the body or pull the transmission out. It's more so that if you had to pull the tranny out, um, you'd have to disconnect the, the trans mount. There's not really enough height in here that you could lift the transmission to pull it out so I'm gonna re revisit that we're gonna do that but anyways like I said we got here we got this piece this one's gonna get a little funky but for the most part if I can push it in shape I know the sheet metal will do the same I just kind of roughing up my corners to know what to expect what's gonna what's gonna happen so if you look I kind of like folded these edges so I kind of know what's gonna happen but in this corner there's gonna be too much steel you see how it's kind of kinking I might just do a pie cut I don't know like even down here there's gonna be a weird a weird kink so we can stretch shrink it or just beat it into shape it's not really that big of a deal it's just a floor so we got all of our patterns now we just got to put these all to the sheet metal trace them and cut them and then we're gonna puzzle them back I'm gonna puzzle them on but I might trace out wherever this uh, these are and I'll probably bead roll inside of them do a step or I'll do something in there uh, just to doll it up kind of nice and we'll, we'll kind of do it everywhere just to give it a doll it up and B just make the panel more rigid I could add more of this bracing in it but it's not that important really it's just to give me a nice skeletal frame that I can make all my patch panels to nicely so Anyways, let's uh, let's stencil these suckers up and then we'll start snipping everything out.
Alrighty, so something tells me I should have spent more time making my line straight, but <laughs> they're, they're, they're slightly wobbly, but that's okay. <clears throat> It'll most likely get covered. Um, so we got it. It's just tacked in. Nothing's very solid, but we're just going to move on to trying to make some sheeting for the back here. Um, we'll try to make these panels before we think about how we're going to bead roll them and stuff. Uh, basically one thing at a time and then we'll uh, get this stuff sorted out. Anywho, so we kind of basically pushed this all in. Didn't see this side, but I kind of just uh, beat stuff senseless and made it do what I needed it to do. So yeah, I don't know. You see me do this side, so that's not too big of a deal. I didn't bead roll anything on it because, well, I knew I had to kind of manipulate it to get it in shape, so it'll be pretty strong as it is. But this will all have to get welded up solid yet, so for now, we are just going to function or, or uh, focus on this part here. We'll clean up a bit of the welds and then uh, we'll start with one big panel. I don't know if I'll flip both edges so then it's square. Might do the bottom. We don't know yet. We'll uh, do a big old measurement, oversize it a bit. We might bend the ends. And then we'll make one panel here to that one. And then we'll start with a package tray. That'll be another one. And then if everything goes well, I'd like to make a panel that kind of contours to here. That'd be super cool. Don't really need it, but I think it'd give it a really nice finished look. So, all right. Well, let's measure some stuff up and start cutting.
Well, what do we? What do you think? Sure has a race car vibe to it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, well, it's not too bad. We will doodle something in it. It needs some kind of something to make it look a little more fancy, but I don't know what. So it'll kind of wait. I have just enough that I can make the door pieces and I'll have a few little extras over, but I don't really want to do the doors yet until I figure out my latch system. And, uh, well, I've actually ordered it already, but I, uh, it hasn't come in. All I was going to use, I don't have any of the Model T proper handles. So I ordered, um, uh, like slam latches for a tractor cab. So I could probably run a regular handle through those and then whatever they almost look like a gate latch but it should be able to use the stock latching system on the door i'm hoping and then it'll have a small handle on the inside and then from the outside hopefully i can use a regular twist handle on it anywho we got the these panels are like made up uh these will eventually probably get um screwed to those other pieces yet i just because you can feel, feel the brakes i think overall it's not terrible i just it needs this to, to screw down to some of these other braces so you don't get this annoying noise when you're driving around. Like this panel will be able to screw to this wall. This one we made it curl around, so we'll be able to screw this panel to that panel. This one is like we got a couple screws, but we'll have more screws going around. We'll be able to fasten it, either screw it or pop rivet it, something into there. Same thing over there. We got it good for around our window opening, so I think when the seat's in, I should just kind of mock it up in there. I think it'll look pretty good. Our ship will sit right about yonder. We'll take some of our extra stuff out of here and uh, let's throw the seat in and see what it looks like, eh? Well, you might have seen this one in the background. I'm going to do a little bit of work on this thing at some point. Uh, just trying to get a few things ready for it for safety, but yeah, whatever. I'll probably have a small video on it, doing a bit of work on it. Uh, but this is, uh, I don't remember what it is. I think it's a 65. Eh, I don't know the years really well. It's on a Trailblazer SS, uh, chassis and they did a bunch of stuff with it, but uh, you'll see a little bit of it in a while. I'm, uh, I don't know. I think that's going to look pretty snazzy. Look at that setup. I don't even mind the flat steel, but ah, we'll doll it up. We'll make it a little fancier, add a little more strength to it. Those upper ones, we did a curve, so we just uh, kind of did a stretch shrink and then uh, bent that around so we have somewhere to actually fasten it in. The rest of it's not too bad because we can just put a couple screws in it everywhere. Over here, I kind of did it on the window opening because then we can kind of put one or two down here. As long as we can get enough in there to make sure it doesn't do that titty stuff, we'll be okay. Anywho, I'm thinking I'm about done for now. Uh, I don't think we did too bad. We got a, well, it wasn't very fancy, but we got our tunnel tacked in we uh, made all of our panels back there up on top and i like it i think it looks pretty cool well i think that's where i'm gonna leave this one i uh think the next round we might doll up and do the bead line and stuff on the panels in the back yeah maybe kind of thinking the next step is going to be kind of testing up the dash and figuring out my steering column so we might have to put the body back on here again and loosely just mock up the steering box so we can kind of get the steering shaft in the right place and then we can kind of do the dash and maybe the steering column part i'm thinking that's the plan eventually there's going to be like a whole lot of welding but i'll uh, save you guys from that because we got to do everything around the tunnel firewall just a bunch more on the floor oh yeah lots of welding <laughs> anyways uh, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.